Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Panopto assignment in Canvas. So if you're watching this video, hopefully you have already watched the video on how to create a Panopto assignments folder in your course. So I'm just going to confirm that I have created a Panopto assignments folder because you will need to do that before you can create a Panopto assignment. So to check, I'm going to go to Panopto Recordings in my course navigation menu. And I'm going to look right here um, in my uh, course Panopto folder. I can see here I have a assignment folder. It's got the name of the course with assignments in brackets. So I've confirmed that, so now I can go ahead and get started creating the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Assignments in the Course Navigation menu. And I am going to add a new assignment here. So click the Add Assignment button. And you can just go ahead and give it a name. And you'll want to put some detailed instructions here on um, what the assignment is about, but as well as that, you'll want to include instructions on how to create and submit a Panopto video for your students. Um, eLearning has um, a video that we've created that we can give you the link to if you'd like to embed or link that tutorial in your instructions. You can just go ahead and contact us. So I'm just going to put instructions here. Um, you'll want to, you know, assign the point value and assignment groups um, as applicable to your assignment as well as a due date. And then you'll want to make sure to set the submission type correctly. So the submission type will have to be online. So if it, that's not already selected, you'll need to select it from the submission type drop down menu. And then you need to make sure that under online entry options, text entry has been checked. So submission type online, entry options, text entry. And that's going to give students access to the rich content editor to submit their Panopto assignment. So once you're finished and once you've got the instructions in there and your assignment set up correctly, you'll want to click Save and Publish. And that's it. So next I'm going to show you real quick what the student's perspective is um, when they submit an assignment. So I'll go ahead and go to Student View. So you can see that the student all they see is the name of the assignment and start assignment. So you'll want to make sure to include some good instructions for what they need to do to complete the assignment. So what they'll need to do is click start assignment and then um, they'll need to locate the Panopto recorder and in, in all of our uh, courses the Panopto recording icon should be in the rich content editor. So they'll need to select Panopto recordings and it's going to open up the Panopto recordings box. They'll need to make sure that they have chosen the correct folder. So the folder is going to be the name of the course with assignments in brackets. So they have the option to choose a video that they've already created, which the student has already created a video. They could upload a um, MP4 file from their computer if they've already created one with a camera. Or they can record the video directly into the assignment and they can either use the, um, the browser Panopto Capture Recorder or the Panopto for Windows app. Um, if they want to use Panopto for Windows, they will need to download it on their computer. They do not need to download um, the Panopto Capture as that is web-based. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one that's already been created and then they'll click insert and it embeds the video right there in the assignment. 
and then all I need to do is click submit. All right, so I'm going to leave student view and the last thing I'm going to show you is what this looks like in SpeedGrader when you're grading the assignment. So if you open the assignment and then click SpeedGrader to open the assignment in SpeedGrader and you can see um, the video is right here um, in the SpeedGrader pane. You can play it right there and grade directly from SpeedGrader. And that's it. So if you have any questions about how to create a Panopto assignment, you can contact eLearning. And thank you for listening.